In this video, we are going to look at a uniquely shaped efficient wind turbine that has been built for urban environment called the Liam or the Archimedes wind turbine. Over time, there have been numerous wind turbines that have appeared on the scene with some specializing for urban and semi-urban environments. These include the Swift wind turbine, Proven wind turbine and energy ball etc. Despite having distinguishing shapes, they did not make a significant impact. Producing wind turbines for built-up areas is challenging. Not only size is a limitation, but also low noise is a requirement and low weight if it has to be mounted on the roof. There are other requirements too, for example, bird strike avoidance. Winds in the built-up areas also have a lot of turbulence and so the urban turbines should be able to handle the turbulence and dampen vibration. This is because vibration could transfer to the building structure that the turbine is mounted on and damage it. For these reasons, we have seen a radical change in the shape of the wind energy generators meant for urban environments. Take for example the Aeromine wind turbine or the Vortex Bladeless. And now add to the mix the Liam wind turbine. The first thing that comes to mind looking at it is the golden spiral, a shape found in nature. It comprises of circular blades which are wrapped around one another and then expanded. This shape allows the vortices shed by the upstream blade tips to be captured downstream, thereby lowering the noise, reducing vibration and improving efficiency. The Liam wind turbine has been designed to be installed on the roofs of the building. It has a maximum diameter of 1.5 meters and weighs less than 100 kilos. The claim is that it can generate an average of 1500 kilowatt hours of energy per year with a wind speed of 5 meters per second. It has a rated speed of 500 watts at 11.6 meters per second. The turbine comes with brakes which activate when the wind speed goes above 14 meter per second. At this speed, the Liam turbine produces 1 kilowatt of power. The Liam or the Archimedes wind turbine has an incredibly low cut-in speed of 2 meters per second or 9.6 kilometers per hour and does not require a tail fin to position itself in the wind. Its shape alone yaws it in the prevailing wind direction. Not only that, it has the ability to catch winds that are 60 degrees out from the rotating axis of the turbine. It has been claimed that this wind turbine can extract about 40% of the energy from the wind. This is high considering that the theoretical maximum energy that can be extracted from the wind is 59.3% and is called the Betts limit. One problem that has been witnessed with small-scale wind turbines is the wear and tear. The larger wind turbines are designed to rotate slowly, whereas the smaller wind turbines have to spin much faster for higher output. The Liev wind turbine has the rotational rated speed of 330 rpm. The blades are prevented from expanding using bolted rods at various places. The Liam turbine is opaque to incoming birds and so they are likely to fly around it. In countries that are 40 degrees away from the equator, during the winter months, the solar installation drops by 6 to 10 times, while the wind picks up by more than 40% compared to summer. So it makes sense to have domestic wind turbines particularly to complement solar systems, if any. There are several pockets in urban areas where high wind is observed because of the funneling effect of the wind and these turbines can be located in those positions. Whether the Liam turbine cuts it remains to be seen. The proof of the pudding is in the field test. This turbine is just 1.5 meter in diameter. It would be interesting to see how a slightly larger wind turbine of this shape performs because the power that the turbine generates increases exponentially with size. We will keep an eye on this unique wind turbine and provide you with the updates. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.